What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So in response to my last video, my top 10 most expensive PS2 video, a YouTuber by the name of Brenda from Collections commented, could you do an original Xbox video please? Well, Brenda, that kind of comes at a perfect time because I watch a lot of modern vintage gamer and if you guys haven't watched his channel, check him out. Um, he's one of the guys uh, involved in the original Xbox modding and emulation scene. And in watching his videos, I watch a lot about how Sega was the premier system after the Dreamcast for Sega to port all its games to. And he also said that he's heard people refer to the original Xbox as the Dreamcast 2. So, when we wrap all that up, I want to make a top 7 original Xbox video of 2019. I couldn't do a top 10 because... Let's face it, I'm not going to add $15 video games to a top 10 most expensive list. You know, that's that's kind of like a blow towards Xbox, sorry about that. But I did want to do a top 7, so in today's video we're going to look at the top 7 most expensive original Xbox games of 2019. Coming in at number 7 we have a game called Fatal Frame 2. Now, as with a couple of other games on this list, not all of these games are original Xbox exclusives. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. And it kind of surprises me that some of these games are this expensive that you can get on other systems cheaper that were wildly available and are still wildly available. But anyway, this is a survival horror game. Uh, this is one that I've never actually talked about before on my channel. I've, I've not played this game, but it does look pretty interesting. Um, there was a Fatal Frame game I know that came out on the Wii U that is exclusive to Japan that looks pretty cool. And you, it looks like you use the, uh, the pad in like really interesting ways for the Wii U. But... If you do want a physical copy of Fatal Frame 2 on the original Xbox, it's going to run you right around $45. You know, comparatively speaking, it's not like a super expensive game, although it could be very rare. I have no idea as far as the rarity goes, but it is one of the most expensive, and it is the number seven most expensive original Xbox game of 2019. Coming in at number six, we have a game called Zionide. Now, I actually found out about this game from a fellow YouTuber, a buddy of mine, uh, Dat Game Collector. Uh, check his channel out. He's got an awesome YouTube channel. But I asked him, since he knows everything about Xbox, I asked him, are there any original Xbox shoot-em-ups? Because I've never heard of any. And he said, well, yeah, there's a game called Zionide. And I was interested immediately. I was doing research, looking at gameplay footage. And it looks cool. It looks like the type of game, if I do find it cheap enough, I will seek out actual original Xbox hardware and then probably assemble a library because, you know, that's how we do as game collectors, right? But anyway, Zionide, coming in at a price of $47, is the sixth most expensive original Xbox game of 2019. At number five, we have Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Now, I've known this is an expensive game for quite some time. I mean, bigger YouTubers have been talking about this game for years. And I guess it is pretty rare, because I haven't seen this game all the places I looked, and I usually check out everything. And, you know, I played The Sims back in the 90s. This game kind of reminds me of that, so just not my type of gameplay. I mean, it could be an amazing game. I've certainly heard great things about it. But coming in at a price of $80, it is the fifth most expensive original Xbox game of 2019. At number four, we have a game called Stubbs the Zombie, and this game does look pretty fun. It looks like you run around and eat brains in this game, and you recruit people as part of your zombie army. And it has a really old-school, futuristic, post-apocalyptic look to it. It's got a very interesting look, kind of like uh, Warner Brothers Batman or something of that nature. And I heard this game runs on the Halo engine for the Xbox. So Xbox was always known to have the cutting-edge graphics for the time, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, if you want a physical copy of Stubbs the Zombie on the original Xbox, it's going to run you $90. Ouch, $90. We're getting to the point now where if these games keep going up there in price, original Xbox emulation needs to be a thing. At number three, we have Futurama. Now, it's kind of funny that this game made this list because I just did a PS2 most expensive video last week, and this game was on the list. As a matter of fact, Futurama was number six. And just like I said in that video, this looks like a game I would really like to play. It looks fun. Um, I heard there's actually an episode of Futurama that's on the disc that was never aired on TV, so I assume that goes for the Xbox as well as the PS2 version. The crazy thing about both of those games in the list that I make, they came up at the exact same price. And I used a bunch of different websites to determine what games are worth and, you know, things of that nature. And it's funny, like, down to the last penny, they came out to be the exact same price. So, 
at a price of $110, just like the PS2 version. Although the PS2 version was number six on that list. And on this list for the OG Xbox, it's number three. But for this list, it is the third most expensive original Xbox game of 2019. At number two, we have Teen Titans. Yes, Teen Titans. I was shocked that this game made number two on this list. Now, let me just say this. Teen Titans is a game that you can get on the PlayStation 2 for like $10 or less. Maybe like a dollar if you go into like a Goodwill or something. That's crazy. Now, with that being said, I'm sure the print run on this thing was super low on the Xbox. I just, I can't see this game costing what it does. But anyway... If you're going for a complete set and you need all the Xbox games, then this was one that you're probably going to need in your collection. Anyway, coming in at a price of $115. My God, $115. It is the second most expensive original Xbox game of 2019. At number one, we have Outrun 2006 Coast to Coast. Now, I will say in this case, this game deserves to be at number one. I absolutely love this game. Now, I don't own it. No, 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 I don't own it, but I do own it on the PSP, yes. I have the downgraded PSP version, which is excellent. I own the physical of it. You can play it through an emulator. It's just as good. I absolutely adore that game. Uh, I, I wish I could own this. I wish I could actually find this. I've actually looked for this game, knowing that if I found it, I would go out and buy an Xbox immediately to play it. The drifting in this game is just on point. It's, uh, it's like everything that you loved about Mario Kart drifting just, just in that next generation of video games. I absolutely love OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast. And hopefully one day I'll be fortunate and privileged enough to own an original Xbox copy. But I better be prepared to fork out that money because coming in at a price of $120. Whew, $120, it is the most expensive original Xbox game of 2019. Okay, so those are the seven most expensive original Xbox games in 2019, US releases anyway. There are some imports and there's collector's editions like what the, the Steel Battalion with the crazy controller and everything. Yeah, like that stuff goes for big money, but I only want to focus on like normal releases, you know, no collector's editions, no crazy variants, you know, just regular normal releases and just kind of figure out what goes for the most money. And some of these kind of surprised me, like Teen Titans at number two at $115. Uh, you know, Futurama, you know, some of these games are on multiple platforms, and I, it's weird how a small print run on a game that came out on multiple systems goes for so much more money. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. And if you like this video, by all means, like the video. And if you like awesome video games, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, peace out.